I play contemporary folk music. Um, it draws on the well of, of Americana music. It's country folk. It's got a bit of blues, a bit of bluegrass, but it's really in the tradition of roots, roots music. Six Winters um, was produced by Dan Roberts. We worked on the album for about a year and it's really about combining traditional instruments like banjo and mandolin and accordion with a very contemporary sound. So <clears throat> there's some very gentle beats in there. Um, it's a very organic recording. Everything was, re you know, the rhythm section was recorded live and, and uh, yeah, it's the album. The Folk Collective is a project I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, there's a group of musicians in Pretoria and Joburg who, who um, I've kind of played with ad hoc at certain gigs um, and we decided to formalise it for Grahamstown and just put together a show. A lot of you know, stringed instruments, we've got banjo and guitar, violin, we've got some accordion, keys, and um, we've taken the songs off my recent album, Six Winters, and created um, a different sound with that. I do get nervous, especially in Grahamstown, because there's the sense that people have come to watch to witness art and watch music so it's kind of different to just setting up in a pub or you know a regular gig it's, it's a bit more formal and um, the stage is a bit bigger so um, yeah but it's it's great it's it's good to be nervous it really kind of drives the performance um, there's nothing kind of structured about the way I write um, it's about when I have time to write and it's also about getting into the zone of, of writing songs you know I'll go through phases where I'll write quite a bit and go through phases where I don't write so um, and it usually comes from finding a melody on the guitar so it's really melody driven in my music I'm a pretty emotional person. It's not difficult to write emotional music and it's all just kind of personal. Even, even if it's not stories about myself, it's kind of finding people's stories and, and tapping into <clears throat> the emotion of, of what people might feel or do feel. Last year I got a standing ovation award for my show with Lisa V at the festival. Well, it was just a real honour to be um, recognised in that way. And of course it, it makes, uh, it gives you a bit of a like stamp of approval at the festival. So um, it really helps you build an audience, and especially as a newcomer, because this is only my second show here. So it's very helpful in that way. I've got 12 shows at first. I'm doing a couple with the Lowlander and I've been performing at the Quervo Music Room.